Hello, hello. This is Carousel TV, and this is season two, episode one. You lucky people seeing that. Also, it's going to come very soon. Please like us and make us subscribe because we like to see your comments and your and your feedback. Help us to learn and plus share the words to your friends and family also so we will see and I hope you enjoyed it but before we start I would love you to have a tea on the side have a bicky or a, or a sweet go and treat yourself with this special moment so sit and relax and enjoy the screen Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, my name is Baby. We're at the Kirkland TV season two. Can you guess what this is? I wanna dance. No, 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 no. I do believe my husband, Marseille, your boss, told you to take me out and do whatever I want. I want to dance. I want to win. I want that trophy. So dance good. Do it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. The moment you've all been waiting for, let's welcome to the stage Morales Wallace and her partner, Vincent Vega. And it's celebration time. We now have a birthday, but not just any birthday. Carousel has just reached 40, the big four row, which means confetti. Oh, they, they actually gave me confetti. Great. Now I've got to clean this up and they didn't give me a broom. No. So as we know, Carousel is 40 years old. And to celebrate, we have got the best musicians Carousel has, brought them together and made the Carousel anthem. And they have produced a track for Carousel's birthday. What we have now is a video showing them how they did it. writing uh, process was just several weeks of coming up with all the ideas at once, not just with the writing but also the riffage. It's been really interesting writing the track, working together to shape what the anthem should sound like. So on the, on the notes we've got things like greatness, dancing, rocking out buzzing. Good collaboration. Collaborate and listen. Oh yes. Well is that a verse? What do you think? 
make lines. Quite, make lines. quite daunting for everyone at first, sort of the blank page so, um, kind of thing, but um, really surprised at how quickly so everyone you know, came up with some great ideas. Platform, so I remember. Shut up and listen. <laughs> Seeing basic ideas come into fruition has been really exciting. Little things develop, like some a, a basic melody idea suddenly come into this big epic kind of chorus. Yeah. It's been really exciting. <laughs> Shut up and listen yeah. instead of a shut up and listen. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> shut up and listen. Yeah. yeah. Good. Right. Listen. Today, doing a session about carousel anthem. We're back at the Brighton Electric Studios, rehearsing the anthem. The song structure is pretty much there now, so we're going to go over the track until we've got it right. Today we are recording the anthem at West Hill Studios with an engineer. Recording each instrument part suitably, we mix them together later to create our track. Uh, the lyrics go on about this is our castle, so it is, it's ours, it's not mine, but it's ours collectively. That's right again. <laughs> No, no, I have to tell you that. You know, it's all, it's all common, isn't it? Um, no, it is about being together. It's about being playing together. To be part of the carousel and and what we're doing at this mm. very moment is it's like extraordinary. Yeah. I mean, we all like writing. We all have like, God. It's so much fun. I am recording vocals and flute for, for the carousel anthem. Here we are at Boat Hillion. <laughs> Today we are celebrating 40 years of carousel by performing the song in front of a live audience.
want to say um, congratulations, Carousel, on reaching 40 years. Absolutely amazing. I'm so glad to be part of the Carousel family. You know, if it hadn't been for you guys, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be performing with uh, Carousel Chorus, and I wouldn't be doing all the things that I do with you guys. So thank you for helping. Uh, thank you for changing my life and keep doing what you're doing and helping other people with special needs to do what they love to do. Quick break now. I'm gonna go and have a massive coffee. <coughs> There's enough for me to swim in. Ah, Mrs. Pond. Welcome back to Carousel TV. I must say I have something wonderful to show you. Let's go on a walk. It's, it's the law that whenever you walk past a, a cool looking stick, you have to pick it up and pretend it's a weapon, like, you know? When I'm holding this, I feel, I feel powerful. I feel like no one is gonna mess with a guy holding a big, big heavy stick. Anywho, I don't know what's special about this place, but I come here because I enjoy the scenery and it's quiet. It's, a, it's an escape from, you know, day-to-day -day life and everything that comes with that. You know, and you, and you only really get dog walkers and, well, the occasional golfer as well, but I would definitely recommend it because I really enjoy doing it. And I think a lot of people right now would benefit from just a bit, a bit quiet, you know, a bit of fresh air, not really having to, having to talk to people. Like, I like talking to people, but sometimes you just get a bit fed up of it. I came up this way one time, I don't know when it was, a while ago, to walk the dog who's now dead, that's how you know it was a while ago. And for quite a while afterwards I was like, yeah but what's on the other side of that bridge? This is the first time I've seen sheep around this area. They're, they're normally back behind the fences back there, but I haven't really been here at this time of year, so... Uh, yeah, like, coming, coming around here different times of year, I think there's different things to see, like, like the sheep. That one's Graham, that one's Colin, there's Albert, right, Albert? I don't know, that one's Owen. Oh, Billy, good to see you. Gary, he looks like a Gary. While we weren't filming, one of the sheep took a look at me and then jumped back like he was scared and went running to one of the older sheep. So what's going to happen if I, if I stay in this field? But if I, if I do get attacked, it'll, it'll make for good TV. People will want to see that.
to that mound over there, that like mound of hill. That's, hang on. Yeah, this, is a, this is a place I sometimes climb up to go and sit. How I feel when I'm up here. Uh, I feel, I feel at peace from the world. Let's say. Just let's just say that. So you can just, just stand around, or, or, or you could also sit around as well, and just, just think about things, you know, and just, and just really, like, relax, escape from modern responsibilities for a bit. Like, oh, I don't have to think about getting a job. I'm sitting on my mound and it's great on up here. Just me and my mound and a great view as well. Just can't see it because the camera's pointing this way, but I see it and it's a great view. Love this mound. <laughs> So if you just continue down this path down here, you will eventually get to Devil's Dyke. And one day I just came through here and I was like, oh, I wonder where this leads. And before I knew it, I was at Devil's Dyke, which I, I didn't expect at all, honestly. <laughs> I didn't expect that to be where this leads. I, I, have, I have gone on adventures through both the city and countryside nature areas like this and I will say of the two I much prefer places like this, natural places. There's, there's more stuff to see, there's better, there's better views there. Well the city can, is just like, it's fun but it's busy, most of the views are just buildings. You know, this I find significantly more interesting. Oh, stick. I'd most like to find some some like sort of undiscovered land. And now let's take a look at what our friends at Figment Art are doing. This next animation is going to be by an artist, Ryan Medlock. Ryan is an artist who is a part of Figment Arts, a grassroots artist-led arts organisation. Figment Arts has been working with an autistic academic, Dr Gemma Williams, to respond to her research in communication and loneliness in autistic people. Here's that animation now.
My name is Ryan Medlock. Um, I'm an illustrator who graduated from Cambridge School of Art. I like drawing cartoons and comics and learning how to animate. Well, I guess it originally started as sort of this failed children's book idea. Like he was going to be this little character in a much bigger story, but I think most of my classmates liked that character more. So I just kept drawing it more and more, and it was just like really fun to do. Um, I kind of like the more simplistic looking characters. You know, an easy to draw character has probably got a bit more mass appeal, I guess. Um, some people say it looks a bit like me, so I tried making it more of my best Sona, I guess, and just thinking of silly things I do, and then maybe I can make silly things for him to do. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and please click on the link below. Thanks for watching. Bye. I hope to see you next time on Season 2, Episode 2 of the Sage and I'll see you soon. Bye!